Uh, we are finally getting in-game. Uh, so we should have something for you here very quickly. Welcome everybody to Dota Battle Season 1 Semi-Finals. This is Happy Men vs. Kunkka's Tree Weasels. I'm So Many Robots, joined tonight by Vic. Uh, and we should get into the game. This is Game 2. Game 1 was honestly a completely one-sided so Happy Men just totally dominated Kunkka's Tree Weasels. But uh, it was kind of a problem with the draft. Hopefully we'll see them getting a better draft this time around. And already we've got the pool up. Uh, I'm really excited for this pool. Yeah, this is this is exciting. A lot of really fun heroes to watch here. What do you see? Dyer's Bay. I see a lot of global heroes, and any time yeah. that I can make a global strat, you know, work. Radiance Bay. I love ban. global strats. We've got Wisp CK. We've got the Tree Ant Protector. We have Spectre, Tinker, and Ancient Apparition, as well as the Invoker and Keeper of the Light. We get some really nice combos and synergy up in here. Yeah, we already see Kunkus Tree Weasels taking out the Lycan, which honestly, if you watch pro games at all, that's fantastic. Lycan's just way too strong on this patch since the buffs to Howl. Mm. Uh, I think the buffs are mostly to Wolves, but Howl is what everybody pretty much agrees is what's broken about the hero. Uh, and I'm really, much though I would like to see CK Wisp, I would expect one of these teams to ban out the Wisp. Uh, it's actually, it's usually a pretty high skill ceiling hero and relatively high skill floor in like an organized format. So I'm not sure if we'll see that. Wisp is pretty hard to make work unless you're good at uh, getting like that max efficiency jungling until you hit level Dyer's 6. Ban. Yeah, it is true. Definitely they might not be concerned about it if these teams haven't really uh, practiced it. Uh, but we're gonna see Kunkus Tree Weasels at least going for the TA ban instead. So and then Happy Man ban out Marana. So we're gonna see Radiant's that Wisp team make it through. We're gonna see the Invoker make it through. I was wondering if we would see a ban on yeah. him. Invoker was the one I was expecting to get banned too. Yeah, he's not. I mean, he's and certainly he's not as terrifying in the three to four K bracket as he is in the pro scene. But actually, even in the pro scene, despite being definitely first pick, first ban right now. Uh, he's really only hovering right about a 50% win rate. Uh, that's that's pretty surprising. Big. I think it's a hero that like you almost always get what you want from him. Invoker. Yeah, so it happened. Yep, there comes the invoker. Pick. KTW going to reach for that first pick, Jakira, which after the performance Catterday delivered in that first game, I'm honestly not at all disagreeing with their choice to deny it to Catterday, but they do give up the Ancient Apparition and the Invoker. So Happy Men, really they do have the makings of that global strat you were talking about. Global ult from AA, global sunset from Invoker if he chooses to go Quasexor. And Kunkus Tree Weasel is going to grab a tree and Bane. So one of those three heroes already is going to be a core, so that's looking very interesting. I think it's Treant. Uh, tr really? I think that's going to be a tree core? I don't think it's going to be like a core core, like a late game core, but I think it's going to be like, I don't know, build the mech or something on him, get him a little bit of right click. Pick. I mean, I've seen him go carry in pubs, but you need pick. a solid lead for that. I definitely, I recall one game a long time ago where uh, it was one of Goblack's old teams, I think it was the one before Quantic. Ten seconds um, to go. For a hard carry tree, and they Radiance just pick. Disarming ability to get the quick mech, but Five seconds. not going to hard carry the tree this axe. time. Going to go in for the specter and the axe. Axe is oh, axe. We have pick. an axe game. Oh yeah, four protect one. Let's do this. Life Here comes a life stealer. Life stealer out for happy man. So it looks like it's probably going to be. I would assume an off lane beast master uh, and KTW. Let's take a look at who picks up what. Uh, I think it looks like you're right. SP is going to be on the tree and protector, who I believe took their offlane weaver last game, so it looks like that's going to be an offlane tree. I wonder if it's going to be duels or like a tri lane. It might be a. No, this would be a very bad choice, but they could try putting tree ant solo safe and then do an aggro try with the specter. Uh, specter is garbage in aggro tries. That would be a yeah. very risky choice for them. Alright, let's, uh, a little smoke comes out on Flex. They, I think they have a Places potential for everyone. level 1 first blood here. They have an Ice Path, a Nightmare, and Treants on godly right clicks, but nope. 
Yep, they're just going to move towards their lanes. Pretty standard. Fear Bone is going to take that axe into the mid, which is not standard, but is interesting to see. Especially against Invoker. That's the spirit. Uh, we're going to see Naz on the Bane, Flex on the Chikiro, Nine on the Spectre, going in for Let's keep it stock clean, standard folks. defensive tri-lane. Two very strong defensive supports should be able to secure a lot more farm for Nine than they were able to last game. Uh, and SP going on the offlane tree with level 1 living armor, which is interesting. Offlane tree tends to rely a lot on nature's guys, so I wonder if Happy Men's supports are going to be able to force him out before he can get points up in it. If he's against a solo lane, 30 uh, seconds this could to work, go. but looks like Disruptor's coming up here, and that's a lot of harass that he's not going to be equipped to deal with. Alright, do you want to go through Happy Men's lineup for us, Vic? Sure thing. Uh, our victors from game one will have Invoker mid, played by JT. On the bottom lane, they will have Fabi on H and Apparition, and Jack on the Beastmaster, probably down here to the game is on. stack up the Ancients. And the presumably uh, defensive tri lane top, we're going to have Catterday at, who was our support last game on the Carry Life Stealer. We're going to have BG Illusion. Chaos. Uh, switching to the support role as Disruptor, and uh, finishing it up will be Fappy on Ancient Apparition, who's heading mid. Yeah, it looks like he's just yeah he's just watching. Maybe I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's just placing a ward. Uh, one thing that we should notice: the players already commented about it in chat a little bit. We got this ward right here. What's with all the scribbling? Classic scribbin? ward coming out from Fappy. Uh. I think he was trying to hand it to Jack, and Jack's inventory was full, so he accidentally placed it on the ground. That's on. That's <laughs> 75 grand. Yeah, I am curious to see Catterday taking up the uh, Life Stealer uh, and Beza Chaos going to a support role. I wonder if that's just a matter of who's more comfortable on which hero's disruptor. Obviously, has a bit, a bit of a skill cap on him. You got to be good at getting off good walls. Uh, Static fields and Fappy just gonna blow the chilling touch, and give Catterday an easier time last hitting. Which Life Stealer definitely doesn't need. Life Stealer is easiest last hitter in the game, I think. Yeah, and the chilling touch slows his attack speed. I think that's actually not very good synergy. Not yeah, that said, I don't think I think this I'm not certain Catterday's missed a creep yet. He's seven and one so far. So Looks like we might have a bit of it. Not, not a tangle in mid, just overlapping on the mini map. But JT and Fear Boner. Uh, oh, Flex yeah. is getting real low. He might go down here. Jack it. Oh, this is uh, really low. Jack 45. throws it up. 45 hit points left on the Jakira, but only one point up in the axes. Uh, Jack hasn't even cracked level two yet. No, this lane's going very badly for him. Uh, Kungus Tree Weasels predicted the off lane Beastmaster and warded up the ancient stack. So. It's, he's dead right now. There's no way he survives this. I think if Nightmare comes out, it's gone. Well, Bane still hasn't actually skilled anything now. He's gonna take Brain Sap to try to get more damage out. Oh, Whiff on the Spectral Dagger from 9. They might still have I enough. Jax, looks like he's gonna try to deny him. No, he's gonna try to beat his way through. <laughs> as the Brain Sap comes through. Oh, and the Neutral still got the kill. Wow, so no first blood. That was extremely well played somehow. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and give Jack credit for that, though he definitely was trying to get away, not necessarily denying himself to the neutral. He might have had that in the back of his mind. Yeah, uh, it'll be interesting to see how he tries to catch up with Fallen extremely far behind. Uh, this is looking actually this is looking pretty bad for uh, Happy Fish. Happy nice. like They're actually going to rotate Fappy here to give him a little bit more support. BC Chaos, actually, he's going to run down too, so they're going to switch it up to an aggro try just so Jack can get anything, which honestly seems like a fine decision. Life Stealer, really not afraid of a train protector at all. Oh, and Dagger yeah. comes out onto Jack. He's going very low, going to pop the south, but immediately gets ice pathed up. Nightmare comes through as well. Brain Zap, only one point, not going to do a lot of damage. Nine actually getting oh, they really messed tower up. Shots. If they. If they didn't throw that nightmare when they did, that would have been a kill. I think Nas saved him. Yeah, I actually wasn't uh, play, paying perfect attention to the timing. Did the nightmare prevent the spectral dagger damage? 
I think it, it prevented Ice Path damage for sure, and it might have prevented Spectral da uh, Dagger damage. I mean, he's not the squishiest hero. I think the Ice Path damage had already gone off, um, but I think it might have stopped the Dagger. Yeah, it definitely blocked some damage, and it took Ice Path off of him, which is another big thing. And actually, I was saying that a Catterday didn't have anything to fear from this Train Protector, but he's actually quite low, 295 hit points. Uh, two points up in Feast, so SP still not getting a ton of CS, but beating beating Catterday a little bit, uh, Leech Seed comes up, doing a little bit more yeah. damage. Catterday's oh, actually very, very, very low. He's going to rage one more hit from the tree, and it would be enough, but he's not going to be able to get it. Wow, very impressive coming out from SP. Yeah. That's a level advantage right there, I think. Yeah, it looks no like way. Lifestealer's about to crack level 5, but he's only got one tango, doesn't have a salve, so he can't get near these creeps. Uh, so this is turning out very, very badly for Happy Man up on this top lane. That looks like, looks like we lost one. Uh, for just a moment, hopefully he'll get back in game here in a minute. Looks like his client's oh. freezing up. Uh, welcome back, Vic. Glad to have you with us. Thank you, thank you. Uh, i still disconnected from the game. I'm gonna have to try and reconnect. Alright, well we should get you in momentarily. Now's a moment when I wish I hadn't turned off push to talk on the game. Anyways, first blood yet? Uh, still no first blood. Still mostly quiet. And we're back. Yeah. Alright, turned off my push to talk so people don't have to hear me muttering to Vic about his connection problems in Dota 2. <laughs> we should have him back momentarily. Sounds, sounds adequate. And I am in. Radiant's mid tower could use a hand. Path, uh, out on the river, I'm not totally certain why. Uh, we saw that Dyer, the Ancient Apparition Fappy, has kind of dewarded. So Jack's gonna be able to start getting his stacks off, uh, so that should help him recover a little bit. Uh, Catterday, meanwhile, has got Fappy back to support him, so he's able to get his farm on once again. Uh, and SP forced off, and sort of sitting back more passively. Uh, but we'll see, that might be an invitation to KTW to make another go at the Beastmaster, and Flex already picks off his Hawk. Uh, that is only a level 1 Hawk, so no invisibility up on it. It's very easy if you can spot it out of position to do some damage. This is really great Midas timing coming out from both heroes. Lifestealer and Invoker both got 6 minute Midas. Very nice. Oh, Sunstrike and Fearbone are going to go very, first very blood, low. Folks. That's first blood going to JT. Excellently first by him. blood! As indeed I am first in everything! We're going to see with that fast first blood and a 6 minute Midas, JT is off to a terrific start. Going Exort Invoker here, got one value point up in Wex. Uh, but as soon as he hit that four points in Exor, popped the cold snap in the Sunstrike and got a very clean kill on that axe. That Not is just ridiculous long. damage. He's going almost pure exhort here. That is a lot of damage. For example, his... Get the second point out in Quas. Uh, oh, the Beastmaster goes down. Oh, missed that entirely. Uh, not surprised, given how hard a time he was having, and it looks like both supports had rotated off. Uh, Jack really not having a good game. Not having a good game at all. Radiant's top towers. No, but hits. he's playing with two Midas's. All he needs is level six, and uh, now he has the Soul Ring, so he can start catching up with the ancient stacking. Yeah, we are going to see. He has managed to put. Uh, I don't think it's even been pressure. I think it's actually been uh, kill opportunities and probably missing some last hits because Spectre's a much harder hero to get last hits with. Uh, but our life stealer does have a significant lead on our Spectre uh, in farm, and we'll see. It looks like Spectre's going for a Vanguard first item even before Boots, because right? he's already got that Ring of Health up. That's uh, well, Shakori. Oh, wow, SP yeah. He's gonna get aggressive on Fappy. You might not know that BZ Kansas is in the trees. There we go. Thunderstrike. Open doors. Boots. Not Boots. Start running. Medic field's already there, Caterpillar can pop his rage, try to get him, oh, and SP glimpsed no. back, and he's gonna go down, Lifestealer that takes the kill. Oh yeah. In a 2v3 situation, uh, definitely completely different than 1v1, and this means Caterpillar is now ahead of him, Caterpillar hits level 8 with Radiant's that, and he's at level 7. I don't think the long term 
uh, Treant could keep up with the life stealer. I think that's really Radiant's bad. Radiant's top they towers in bad shape. Yeah, and actually because he was in the 1v1 situation, we can see SP actually prioritized Leech Seed over Living Armor. And you see a lot of tree players will put one point up in the Leech Seed and still try to max the Living Armor by seven, because that duration reduction is really a very big deal for the usage of the skill. Someone's having technical difficulties. Radiant's like top tower is taking game. hits. He yeah. should be rejoining us in just a moment. Ah, oh, internet. Oh, ice path up onto BZ Chaos. Uh, Flax is rotated up there to try to get something. Catterday gonna pop the ultimate oh. and has to go through it himself, but immediately pops the rage to run away. Meanwhile, with his supports rotated off nine, actually might start coming under a little bit of pressure from Fappy and Jack. Waves pushed out. Ancient Apparition really trying to keep him close, but Jack doesn't pay enough attention to his hawk, and Nine gets 30 gold for free. Killing off that hawk, he has bought up his boots uh, and finished his vanguard a couple moments ago, so we'll see. The Dyer might want to mine their top the tower. To go for more of a fighting build this game. I'm actually, I'm pretty worried about Krinka's Tree Weasel's lineup. Uh, unless the axe starts snowballing like yesterday, Dyer's top tower. I don't see how you know they the can drill. do enough damage for the Dyer Spectre winning to fortify their structures. She's trying to farm against people who are 10 CS ahead of her. Dyer's top tower is getting beat down. Yeah, I mean, Kunkus True Weasels did manage to secure her farm to an extent, but the Invoker and Lifestealer both. On top of the board, both have a Midas running already, uh, and I, I agree with you. I think that this is KT 